there is a uniform wire whose resistance is equal to R. It is shaped into a polygon having n sides. Of course, the n is an even number. What is the equivalent resistance of that polygon between any of the two corners is the question. Right? Then, let's try to solve this. What's the first thing we can do is drawing a polygon. Let's draw a polygon. It could be of any number of the even number of the sides and in number but I am drawing only a 6. This is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 but it could be n number. Let polygon has n sides. Total resistance of the polygon is equal to R. Assuming that that resistance is equally distributed across all the sides of that polygon, each side is having an identical resistance. So, resistance of each side is R by N because you know resistance is directly proportional to length as there are N sides the total length is divided into N parts thus each part is having a resistance R by N. So if I consider these two are the points between whom you would like to calculate equivalent resistance between that points we have a resistance of R by N. The entire other part, look at the other part, this is the other part, will have all the remaining resistance. That means between points A, B, one resistance, one side has a resistance of R by N. Then what is the resistance of this entire remaining part? this part that whatever I am drawing now this entire remaining part will be total resistance R minus this resistance R by N yes so the all the remaining resistance is total resistance R minus resistance of any one side R by R minus N that is N R minus R by N R R of N minus 1 by N I have just taken resistance common in this now you can see the upper part is having a resistance R by N the lower part entire lower part is having a resistance of R of n minus 1 by n. It's very clear that this part and the entire remaining part are in parallel with each other. Right? As the two resistors are in parallel, we know the formula for the resistance in parallel is R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. Right? Where R1 is this R by N, R2 is this R of N minus 1 by N. Let's apply the formula and try to find out what is the effective resistance is. So the resistance between any two corners of a polygon is the effective resistance of, effective parallel resistance of these two resistors, R by N and R of N minus 1 by N. Let's apply in this formula, R1 is R by n into r2 is this value r of n minus 1 by n by r1 plus r2 that is r by n plus r of n minus 1 by n let us simplify this r and r r square into n minus 1 by n and n n square divided by 
I can take this R by N common in both the terms. R by N of 1 plus N minus 1. As I have taken this R by N common, this N minus 1 is remaining. <coughs> so this minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancels. There is a R by N here. There is another R by N in the numerator too that also gets cancels. So what's the remaining? 1 R is there by 1 n is there because 1 r, r by n is getting cancelled with the numerator. So r by n of n minus 1 the denominator there is only 1 n. So r of n minus 1 by n square is the formula which is being given in option c which is the right answer for this problem. This is a simple problem which we are solving basing on when the two resistors are in far parallel, the effective resistance is R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So, how do you decide whether these two resistors are parallel or not? It's very simple actually. Between the two points, imagine a battery like this with a positive plate and negative plate. From the positive plate, current comes, goes to this point. After reaching the point A, some current will go this way, so this way, some current will go this way. So this is the other end, so the first current will reach this point, the second current all the way travel this way and reach this point, join together and becomes the total current itself. Thus, at the point A, current is divided across these two points, AB and all the remaining resistance. Whenever current is shared, the two resistors are in parallel. That's it. Thank you for watching.